All right, we're gonna go. Oh yeah, hang on a second. The first is mode. Let's try that. That's what you wanted to try. Chicken tendies. Thank you. I want to play the complicated one, which isn't really that complicated. You just got the points towards being complicated. The troll blood shaman. Very hard. So hard. We do need a healer though. One last player to maybe pick a healer. Because I don't think we have a healer. We've got a tank. We are this character is a troll blood shaman. He has corrupt blood, twisted blood, forbidden foodoo. So he does damage based on the missing life that he has. So you basically want to play him so that he always has like next to no life but isn't completely dead. He has a, a blood fiend here that has the blood packed. It's a 120 second cooldown, which is pretty long, but you can summon it every now and then when you're in trouble to get half your health back. Will be my next victim. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Does anyone want to give me the short and the, the precise of what these items are? To be fair, I think he's made it quite straightforward. This is the general shop. This is the armor. Shield, battle, arsenal, weapon, mystical. So probably mystical would be something I'm leaning towards, maybe? Spell resistance, I don't know. I want, obviously, a little bit more health regeneration, but spell damage as well. So there's offensive, supportive, defensive, offensive. So it's one of these two. And this one looks like it's leaning closer to the mystical. Spell Leech, Mana Regeneration, Intelligence, whenever the owner of this staff casts a spell, it restores 5% of the owner's maximal health. Okay, well, already I think that's probably the item we want to go for, without even looking at the other stuff. Epic Battle Staff, Epic Skull, Ancient Relic. Use my power. Let me see if I can find some Warcraft 3 music, since this map hates music. Warcraft 3 OST, in before I get copyright striked on that. Ironically, you can, actually. I need the whole thing, really, but it's going to do them one by one. This looks like it will do for now. For now. Okay, type dash begin. Warcraft 2 music. That, that could work. Bear with me. It's only 46, 48 minutes long though. So we may have to play it two times. Begin! And I need to remember this item here. So, Epic Battle Staff. Let me copy pasta that so I can. Epic Skull. Ancient Relic. Ancient Relic sounds like something you get from the boss. Because we played this before, but we're doing like a PvP version. Because originally it was just five players. So, essentially it's a competition from what I can tell, right? I don't know if it's a competition as to who can get to the last boss first or whatnot. How it's going to work. There's an arena timer, so maybe that's the PvP section of it. We're doing... Yeah, okay. So, Epic Battle Staff, Epic Skull, let's have a, there's an Epic. So it's in order of common to uncommon to rare to Epic. Very simple. I see a Battle Staff, so that's secured. Now, where's the epic skull? The grand star. So, I did get a little bit of healing there, but who is our healer as such? Because I only need to be just about kept alive. Oh, you did. Okay. So, prioritize others. Only heal me if I'm like on 4% health or something. Prioritize the AoE. On a higher health mob, I can use the stun. This does stun after four seconds. 
It does damage based on your missing life as well. You got the respawn timer showing up here. Don't forget to buy items eventually, guys. When you get a chance to actually look at them. That's why it's important to look, find one that you definitely want and then start working towards it. So you got that in the bag. I still got this I can use to get health back as a backup. So you get a precise amount of experience, pretty much. Boss tip, spread out. I'm going to CC him. Go for it. And then I'm going to activate that as a backup for when he does do some damage to me. Because I'm doing damage to myself when I activate these abilities. Just a small amount each time. But this has got Q to restore health. There it is. Now he should be a bit squishier as well. The entangle's kind of nasty, but not too bad. Pay attention to the timeline. Almost out of mana there. Okay, I might be dead now. Ugh. Kind of need to die, though, to be fair, so I can get my mana back. Right, so, epic skull. Any epic skulls in chat? Ah, there we go. Cool. Oh, it's got lifesteal, right. Yeah, I come back, I got all my mana. So it's, uh... As long as it's not going to cause you to take damage on the main base when there's no one else left alive, if you've got very low mana, you might just want to sort of... You know... Let yourself go. I'll buy the item once we kill the boss. It'll be way easier to concentrate. Oh, watch out. That guy does some damage. Oh, <laughs> he got me. Okay. So when I come back, we have this to buy. To get access to this. So the epic skull. How much does that cost? 1600. It's done. The epic staff. What's this one? 1600 for that one. And an ancient relic. I think only one player gets the ancient relic, don't they? Each time. So it's an item you pick up, isn't it? I'm not sure. Requires rare skull. Do I have to buy them in order then, maybe? I don't know if I can just straight up buy the epic skull. It says it requires the rare skull, so I guess I'll buy the rare skull and see what happens. As far as I can tell, I'm not getting any life steal. So, okay, fair enough. Rare skull then. Done. And then that's going to require the uncommon skull. Okay. Done. Hope hopefully I'm not spending all this money to buy the previous things that I didn't need to buy. But it does say it requires it. So what can you do? Every single skull. I need all of them. Well, 800 gold is what's needed for the one before this point. And you might think, why don't I just start from the first one now? And you may be right, but my OCD makes me want to just do it in order now. 
And the first one probably only costs 400 gold, so it won't take too long to get that. Tells you your percentage as well over here, which is quite good. Down I go. Down I go. I'm just hoping all, all players can stay alive. Because that's the danger of doing the PvP, is both teams have to sort of be quite capable. Alright, uncommon. And then 400 gold for that one. And then all of these should pop into one probably. Oh, it's boss time, is it? Gonna stack behind that tanker. Get behind the chank. The shank. Damn, look at that health drop. He silenced me so I can't use the death pact at the moment. I think the tank's about to go down. Chichoff having fun with the engineer, spamming out towers. Maybe I should have gone for a damage item. Although the life steal would give me more um, control. Not sure if I can actually kill my character with using these abilities. Oh, that's bad. Acid Bomb's gonna finish me. Surely. Maybe. Two health. <laughs> Never been health here. That's alright, I see your potion of healing, but I refuse. I refuse! I'm still going. I'm still standing. Maximum damage based on my low health. Look at that, climbing up the leaderboard. Okay, time to get... They're still working on the boss over there. Let's see... Clear this. Boom. All of that into one epic skull. So we're going to do the battle staff, then we may as well do it the right way this time. It's like life stealing his attacks though, not necessarily his spells, I think. Everyone's getting the booba recommended. Yeah, that's probably right, it is Twitch. Anyone know of any good ones, King Dramox? No, there was one. I can't remember off the top of my head. I don't really have a proper list for them, or at least not one off, off right now, especially whilst I'm playing this. If you just go for every single custom game I've ever played, you might find some. So it's based on percentage of missing health, so I don't have to have a stupid amount of health in the first place, do I really? I just need to be low on health pretty much all times. And good mana regeneration so I can spam. Spam spells, I would say. Oh, that's nasty though. That was a bit tricky, that one. They managed to get past the boss, now they're going to move on to this. Got 30 seconds to the arena. Get ready to buy your epic staff. This is the wrong one, isn't it? Have I bought the wrong thing? I bought a common spell, but yeah, I thought I bought the wrong thing. 
Oh well, whatever. I'll just keep it for now. It's not really going to do much harm. Here we go. Yeah, the towers seem to be doing a lot of weight pulling at the moment. They all got different heroes, didn't they? Oh, man. Sniped your tower. I still got this on cooldown, so I can't use that. It's leading the towers towards them. Oh, so close. They got a healing ward as well. PvP is getting intense. Ugh, I refuse to use that health potion. Isn't that weird how they're promoting her, though? Looks like Chichov's towers were not good enough, yeah? Not built for PvP. What do you mean you rushed in? I mean, to be fair, I did stay back a lot. I kept my distance for a really long time. I hung in there a really long time. I don't have any toned abs at the moment. I need to work on that, though. I need to stop getting my ribcage injured, injured though, because that keeps slowing me down. Alright, here comes the boss. Are you all ready? You all healthy and good to go? Does not work on bosses, my ultimate, apparently, so that sucks. Concept of Hnab. Oh, that looks like me dead. Thank you very much there for the sub. So we're going to have to clear the tentacles. Their building's almost dead though. So this is the problem with doing the PvP version of the map. <laughs> is they might die. But the map maker asked for me to try it, so fair enough. Has been an interesting experience, but I think the PvP will definitely obviously work if you've got two very equal teams, but that's not easy to do in custom games. Come here. I'm more worried about what's happening on their side of the map. What about the soul of darkness? The soul of darkness.
Ah. Look at that base. They need a way to repair. Yeah, you have to kill the souls over and over or something, and that's what does the damage to the boss, I think. Shimba? How do my ribs get injured? Oh, they always get injured. I can just do a slight thing and they'll find a way to break. It's normally for doing exercise, though. So I just have to remember which exercises end up causing them to break and then to avoid those ones. Which is a shame, because I was doing a really fun one last time. But apparently my body didn't like it after enough attempts at it. Not sure this life steal is really making that much difference. Is it even working? Like, I don't see my life going up. I got this epic skull. This epic skull. And I'm pretty sure <laughs> I haven't seen actually a health go back when I actually attack. My character's not exactly super good for auto attacks. Maybe I'm doing no damage, yeah, because of the damage reduction. That could be what it is. If I if I test it on the Soul of Darkness, then we can see. Then we know. All right, here we go. Wait for it. I think it, it did work. Yeah, it jumped up by about 6 health. We got him, boys! Oh my god, the Ancient Relic! He stole it! So yeah, a specific boss can drop the Ancient Relic. I need that for my uh, item that I'm working towards for my spell leech. What do you mean, no? You think this is a negotiation? It take increased damage from all sources when I do this. And this is based on your missing life. So is this instant when I do this? Or is it after the 4 seconds? It's after the 4 seconds, that's what I thought. So I kind of need to do that first and then do this. Because this runs out otherwise before that procs. So you do this. And then this and like this. So you kind of get as much damage possible. But you have to delay your abilities so it's kind of clunky from that point of view. Sometimes you just want to activate them all times. Spam them. Rather than wait for that extra... F it's not worth waiting, probably just for an extra 14% down. Still better off using them on cooldown. Tyro has proven he doesn't care about the team. Okay, we're back onto the next level. Anyone want to heal me? I will never use this health potion. Damn it, I was just about to do my Q as well. Taking a while to respawn now. Hmm. Okay.
my very hard hero is being overtaken. I mean, the spell leech, yeah, if it works on actually casting spells to do damage, then we'll be getting somewhere. I went at like max range there on my ability and he still sort of insta snipes. Yeah, spread out a little bit if you can, but I'm not sure if he still multi hits no matter where you stand. I don't know if he can hit behind him. If you face him again, yeah, that's it. Face him up. No, looks like he's still multi shot. Looks like he do be multi shot. There goes all my health. I basically have to chuck potions through this fight, otherwise, I don't see how I can even fight him. It's just like guaranteed damage. I need that spell leech item, Tyrell. I need that relic. Yeah, they've caught up. I need the relic more. Otherwise, I can't sustain. Otherwise, the only lifesteal I'm getting is from bloody auto attacks, which my character is terrible at. Can you, though? Why do you give it to Chichov? Hasn't Chichov taken enough? I get the next one now. If I can not die. Yes, I need like a proper healer really for this character. But no one picked one. I need someone to just keep me off the the brink of death at all times, but also be at low health as much as possible. Okay, Chichov. Well, I better not die then now that you have a healing item. I don't want any excuses. every other boss that drops it then.
question of how good this hero actually is now. Maybe he gets better in the long run, I don't know. Catch up. Damn it, I just used the sacrifice, but it's got a bit of a delay to it. Keep going in this. Keep the tiger with parasite alive. Kite adds by eye of true sight. Really, one gonna buy it? I think Chichop has to buy it since he got the relic first. me dead. Man, until I can get some sustain or something, my character is completely useless. He just dies like straight away now. I've got parasites, so I need to be kept alive if ever possible. Next thing.
Come on, that's me done. <laughs> I don't know why you went right. My elf hunter is doing well. He looks like he should be summoning skeletons or something, but... Sometimes my polymorph doesn't work. Forbidden food, eh? Where? Lies. is used. Can I get the relic? Oh my god! He was supposed to die there. And then I can pick it up. I don't think he even dropped one. Yeah, I guess going lots of range DPS is probably still key. They got like a dwarf hunter and a high elf hunter. Poor Soap's only done 2.85% damage, and he's not even a fucking healer. So what's the next item? Whatever the owner of this... Oh yeah, we've got that one. Also restores hit points. There's no one that restores hit points, but it's got like strength and agility, so I don't think that's quite right. Don't worry about that one. Hmm. No more of those seem too interesting to me.
That's better for auto attackers. Increase your intelligence by 100. Sure. For what end? I need life regen and stuff like that. It's up to soak to win the fight. <laughs> Jesus Christ. The polymorph doesn't even work half the time. I don't know why. He was within range of when I cast it, but it goes off. You're waiting for that to go off to then do the other abilities, but it only doesn't happen, so... I think it's safe to say their heroes are a lot better than our heroes. So I shouldn't be so worried about the enemy team this time. We're playing at a deficit. Yes, their heroes are way, way better. Hell no. I think it's been a pretty good uh, demonstration of the map, to be honest. At least for PvP. But we're definitely at a bit of a problem now, where I don't think we're going to get any stronger. Soap's up to 3.14% damage, so there's that. Maybe I'll just get this one. A random scroll. Epic spellbook and ancient relic. Although, to be fair, you need... Yeah. Oh, I already got it. You can sell it for 100% gold cost, actually. Anything actually thinking about it? Yeah, I bought this temporarily for now. Pretty soon I'm going to lose in damage to Fry. That's how you know the map's jank. He's spamming towers and landmines.
Oh, good. They're losing the royal castle. <laughs> Keep that up. How could we be doing better on waves as you're further ahead on waves? Your logic is not sound. That's all we need, is them to push so far ahead they go against the really overpowered boss that kills them quicker than we load. So we want to kill this really slowly. Just take your time. Just get stuck on this level for the next 20 minutes. Beautiful. Keep up the good work, the Rubian King. Keep it rolling. The Rubian King's being kited though. Needs more Locust Swarm. Damn it. So my summon got sniped. Damn. I got the kill. What can you even do against that? I'm all the way over here. Why is the chain lightning affecting me from there to here? At least if it was close it would make more sense. This is a good hero if you like to wait till you can respawn again. Even with a healer, I still feel like this hero wouldn't necessarily be any better than just a basic ba bitch, basic bitch auto attacking ranged agility hero. So there's not really much reward, as far as I can tell, for actually playing a more risky hero. That uses his own health for damage. Down I go. What the hell? Oh, medieval man. Yeah. I don't know what's happening there. Quick, get the relic, get the relic, go! No relic. What the hell's with these relics? Why are they like hyper rare? You can't buy anything useful though, because you need an ancient relic for anything that's actually a recipe. So I think Ancient Relic is too... you're too dependent on the Ancient Relic. Where? Oh, it's got a cooldown. A massive cooldown. Probably should just get Ancient Relic as a default for every second boss you kill or something.
scuffed. Yeah, I decided to buy the ancient ray. I've died so many times, I'm not even level 15 yet. Sight. Has uh why is she getting a spell each time? Hard to tell because I do damage to myself as well. I'm not sure if I get spell leech on these because he's kinda like it's based on doing damage on your your health and your mind. If that's the case, I'm fucked. Because obviously you have to lose health, because it's doing 15%, but how much health am I getting back? Any? Maybe. Yeah! It's more like it. It's a lie. This is a lie. I'm supposed to get 5% health, but 4... 4... 425. 436. So 5% of my maximum health. Was that really 5%? Also, we win. You guys suck. This might be working, but if it is working, it's giving me like the smallest amount of health bait you can imagine for what it is that I really need. We need to kill this Nerubian twat. XD. It should give 80 health per use, you say. Yeah, I feel like I'm getting 15 health. If that. I think that was going to happen no matter what, Fry. My spell makes me lose health. Yeah, but not this one. Not until it's gone off. So that's a good one to use as an example. Whenever you, the owner of the staff, casts a spell. So this is a spell, right? You get 5% of your maximum health. So look at this. 1470, basically. Oh, well. Now the Nerubian Tower's fucked that up, so. Sniping me all the way from over there. So there you go. Makes it a bit harder to predict, but yes. Try and get outside of its range. Okay, so we're going to have 1100 health. No, nope, never mind. That's gone. 1635 health. So yeah, I can't ever test this thing because... 
circumstances keep fucking it over. I need max health to do more damage. And not exactly. Use your own blood to deal damage upon the enemy based on your missing life. So, is it percentage based or is it actually just flat health? Because it doesn't state clearly. You might be right that it is flat health, but it's not clearly stating which one it is. I mean, if you look at this, I'm on level 5 and it says 40% of missing life is dealt as damage. So yeah, perhaps it is still flat, even with percentages. So I guess with the item being built now, we sell that. And we just find an item that gives me a fuck ton of health. That's hit points there. There's hit points on these. And I can heal off of that. Let's try that. That's all stats. Okay. It's me. It's the troll blood shaman. Blood manipulation. Manipulate the blood and enemy yet affected targets and reduce their current health heavily. Reduce 50% of current health on enemy. So we stacked them all up nicely when they get when most of them spawn. But the problem is, is there's like free here, there's free there, there's... You can't really get too much out of this. So you may as well just use it. Oh, because otherwise you're just not using it, are you? This level seems a bit easier. Looks like Fry's not going to beat me on damage after all. solo this map with your hero. I don't think you can stack quickly enough, can you? With one character versus a team of five. I'm not sure if this map would allow it. But 16.30 health. 14.90. Takes 15% of current health. But maybe this does, I don't know. But if I do this, it doesn't look like it works. So... 20, 40 health. Oh, I just got healed, so it doesn't count. Every time... I can do that, but it's not supposed to work on the boss, so... Maybe on the ad. Isn't this the boss you guys lost to? Maybe you got ahead of yourselves. I thought they lost to the one that kept spawning tons of mobs. This looks like you just run away from this, no? Oh, okay. See you later. Yeah. You had the spiders too close to your base, so you need to keep the boss away. Soap is on 4.17% DPS. It can't really get any worse. No, it did. 
There's like four less, five less players to be doing damage now. When your health is super low, I see the lightning deal 1k damage. this cheeky guy want? Oh. Can't even do anything to him. Don't get bit. Easy game. No problem. Though. Getting stronger. More powerful than ever before. I got one more kill than Tyrell. I'm popping off. I need to lose some health. Obviously the YouTube comments are all going to be like, should have built more health to do more damage. That's, that's going to be their angle, for sure. Others with this orb, can't I? Cost 100 mana, but this character doesn't really have too many mana problems, really. first world problem with this character because now he needs to lose more health so he can do more damage. King. A mana regen, a mana shield is really good in your hero. Yeah, I suppose it would be. You're not wrong. At this rate, just building more and more health as well is just a good way to go. Like just loads and loads of flat health. 
Originally, I thought it was more percentage based because I saw the percentage mark on the abilities. So I thought, well, it doesn't matter if you've got 10 health or you've got 1,000 health. Percentage is percentage. So you just need good sort of health well regen to stay on low health. But that's not the case. Benny Mac. Thank you very much there. Yep, there's the map. I've changed the title to Legendary Defense. It's just in time. Hooray! This is music showing that we won. We're doing quite well against the bosses now. I wouldn't say this character is particularly hard to play. At least if you understand how sort of doing damage to yourself to do damage works. And I have played other games where that happens. Like World of Warcraft and stuff, Deathmite, etc. The general premise of it. Nothing to ninja. Soaps up to 5% damage. Oh, nice. He's genuinely making progress. I haven't seen a cooldown reduction item, but there could be one. 1% 1 of total health regenerated every second. Ooh. That could be the next one. Although, I don't know. Is that going to be too much health? If I'm, I kind of have to get it right. Anyway, it doesn't matter. There's two of those. There's one that summons, or there's one that's more about getting armor, which could be better, and flat health. What's happening? At least the W ability has that stun, which is quite useful. There you go guys, anyone left from the enemy team, check out their discord on how to beat that last boss. I'm gonna buy the ancient relic, so I have it. Thirty percent increased damage taken. I suppose that is effective for the team because it counts for everyone. So worst case scenario, I'm still kind of support. 
Could be worse. Could be soap. Oh gosh. Spread out. Kill the lost soul. Damage check. Soft enrage. So we need to do damage if it's got an enrage. I'm trying to stay low health, it's only just the only problem is if he has like some sort of one shot ability or something. Like a thousand plus health damage. But otherwise I need to stay low health. Oh, one second on my heel. Does look like a home five way, yeah. This way, Heroes of Might Magic 5 is the best Heroes of Might Magic. Because it's so similar to Warcraft 3. Oh, look who it is. This is true form. Heroes of Might Magic 3 doesn't have as much of the jank that Heroes of Might Magic 5 does, which is what makes Heroes of Might Magic 5 so charming. Maybe spell damage? I don't know. He's got divine armor. He's coming for the castle. Can't let him get away with it. Oh my god. Watch out, he's going to the castle. That's it, keep him busy. I'll be back in 40 seconds. underneath 400 health. Oh wow, he lost quite a lot of health there. Here we go. How many more waves is there? Do you not feel like we've proven ourselves? Yeah. 
My ult was kind of useless, man. It takes too long to cast again. <laughs> Mobs don't stack up enough for it to be useful. And it does damage based on their current health, so they've got like half their health, I say. It's not going to be so good. I'm about to overtake Mario, who died about 20 minutes ago. So that's better. Some good stacking now. Can I beat Mario? There it is. Mario has been defeated. I'll keep taking the one that does like percentage damage increase. Because theoretically that is a pretty strong ability. The whole team. Yep, you've been beaten Mario. But rest assured you will never be beaten by Soap. Soap's managed to get to 6.33. I'm not sure the map's going to last long enough for Soap to be able to beat you. This is the first time the mobs are actually stacking up quite nicely, almost. So I can actually do some damage. Feels more rewarding now, suddenly. You guys just kind of got a bit unlucky because that boss spawned those spiders and he was so close to your base. I think if he wasn't close to your base, you would still be alive now. Oh. There's this Banshee Queen. Oh my god, what's she doing? What are you doing, Banshee Queen? See you later. You re-pick in Hero. <laughs> Is it too late to re-pick Hero? Oh wow, that's a really cool looking one. It's, that's such a good model, that's so crazy good. This boss is... yeah, don't try to bring her down though. It's, see if you can fight her from like above. What's the other item I was going to build? I think I can't afford it just yet anyway, but I can certainly buy something. Mm. Let's just buy that for now. 
Was it going to be a lice? It was going to be this thing or something, probably. Ah. Epic chest plate, epic protective ring. Well, I didn't even build that. Oh, yeah. Ring. Ring, 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 ring. Banana phone. Ding dong, ding dong, ding dong, ding. Banana phone. I got that feeling. It's so appealing to get together and sing. Stay away, foul beast. I think they're immune to damage, these ones. on me. There's the ancient relic, boys. I need two of those. <laughs> I keep wanting to see. Soap has earned it. He's earned it. Oh, I see. There's another wave. Holy crap. They don't stop. They won't stop. Got the king summon. Summon the king. Chichov keeps healing me to try to stop me from doing damage. I know he's game. He's worried. Yeah, don't think I don't fucking know that. It's not like I've just sort of like seeing this and just like not actually realizing that it's happening I'm very aware I don't necessarily have to say that I'm aware of it but I'm just gonna say it now because it's so blatantly obvious <laughs> I mean I don't think I'm gonna overtake you anyway but if you want me to clear the levels a bit quicker, you want me to be on lower health, because I do damage, more damage based on low health. And this map has gone on long enough. Who cares whether I get top damage or not? <laughs> we just need to finish this now.
I don't care. <laughs> I just want this. I want this to end. But I need this to end legitimately. You win. Okay. You win, Chichov. No matter what happens, you win. There you go. So you don't have to worry a minute anymore. What the hell are these? Oh yeah, I remember that. That creature. I remember that creature from one of those really jank sort of solo RPG maps that was just a bunch of creeps that you had to sort of kill. I don't know if you guys remember it, but the video did really well. And there's like 40 different heroes and I was checking all of them out and some of them were just so bad. Guess we want to stack these together so we can do more damage as well. looked away to go buy some items and that's what you get. Fantasy life. What the hell one was fantasy life? It wasn't that long ago I did a gem TD and I beat it. Including the last boss. Which wasn't bad considering it's been a while since I last played gem TD before that. The RPG where one player is a king and rules. Oh, that, that peasant one. Yeah, that's... I mean, I think some people like watching that map, but it's not really my kind of map because it's so heavy on the sort of macro and so much shit everywhere. I kind of like stuff that's more straightforward and simple. The dumb players. Pick up and play. Not study and read. There's one of these called Goganosh. Because they're making a mistake if they're not. See, the World of Warcraft pit level looks pretty damn good, to be honest. It's a pretty good upgrade. Or at least an acceptable... Another version of the original pit lord. This is like Karazhan, these Infernos. I guess that's where that's inspired from. Wasn't I going to buy a ring? is OP. AOE Hex. <laughs> Soap 7%. Oh, you might do actually. There can't be much more. Goodness. These are really tanky lads. There goes Tyro.
Nice. For some reason, the other one fell as well at the same time. Last level. <laughs> it's going to be like <laughs> listening to this Warcraft 2 soundtrack like three times in a row. Still doing it, isn't he? Who the hell keeps individually healing me? Oh, it's so exciting, huh? Okay. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> uh, I mean, 13 is an odd number for the final wave. You'd think it'd be something like 15 or something, but if it's 15, that means there's two more bloody waves. Yeah, I know. I got a video. It's like an hour and a half long. I'm trying to work out where to use my ultimate. It's about as good as it gets. level. We've got to go faster, man. This map is just a little bit too long. It's like a good movie, but a good movie that's like two hours, 40 minutes when it could have been just two hours or something. Mario's not going to stick around to see his soap beats his percentage. I see. Okay. Here we go. I don't play that one just because I'm not sure that one's copyright striked or not. Okay. This Sarah is the supreme demon. I thought it was super demon. Very much there for the sub. Oh shit. Greetings. Hello. It's up to soap now. Hmm. 
my YouTube player has decided to start doing the buffering effect. Whoa, 50 seconds still left to spawn. <laughs> Next wave's got to be the last wave, though, if it's not this guy. Because, like Chichov said, be like level 30. Seventeen go, seventy go. Is entire all alive? Mario. Thank you for the tier one, sir. Oh, that's awkward. That's definitely awkward. I couldn't move. I was moving about 20% movement speed. Need like a blink item or something. Let's see if you can one-shot the base. Okay, not quite. Let's see, you guys should probably respawn before you can kill the base. It's magical damage. Fast as dust. Seems a little bit overpowered that you can repair that, actually. Does it cost gold? Say buy a cheap boots of speed or something. There's a secret hero to play. Beat the last boss and uncover the secret. Oh, bugger. I should have... I, well, I wouldn't have remembered. It's been... I think the last time I did a video on this was 2022. So there's probably a code at the end. I think it's a straightforward code, actually. Could have actually put that in for this run. Hooray! Yeah. 
I got the might. Was that just interesting timing? Can't be two more ways. This map is gonna go on for fucking ever otherwise. I use two relics. I need a good movie to watch tonight, maybe. I'm not sure there'll be enough time for it now. Not Morbius again. My abilities didn't work against this guy, which is a shame because I used my ult there. You gotta auto attack this one. Kill Bill. I have seen Kill Bill. Need to see something I haven't seen really. Watch Barbie and then the open Hammer. Hammer. Which one first? Probably watch the open Hammer first. Because I imagine the Barbie one's going to be a bit more up. Upbeat. Check. Check the Netflix. I could always just watch that Twitch female streamer that streams with her rock tits out. It's always an option. Is they clone Tyrell? Tyrone any good? Ah, this, this be the Demon King. Looks like a Jackie Chan film called It's Hidden Strike. Hi. Watch 100 Physical, by the way, if you haven't. That's a Korean uh, game show, that one. Physical one. That's really good. I enjoyed that. I don't see anything good in Netflix at the moment, other than like the TV series that I normally watch. I had that Jurassic Park, uh, what was it? <laughs> Transformers one to watch at some point. I've never seen Built with Beetlejuice. That's only an hour and a half. That could be one to see. Just to sort of say I've seen it as well. 12 Angry Men is a fucking fantastic movie. 
That's a really old one from 1957. It's like my favourite black and white movie. I'm pretty sure it's black and white when I saw it. But um, might not be. I just know it was really bloody good. No, it was black and white. Okay. I was like really impressed with that movie. I went into it not ex knowing what to expect. But holy shit. It really makes you think that movie. It's very well done. The logo for Doom looks like it says Dunk. Dunk. Welcome back. I was thinking it was... Slow and steady. Oh, here we go. That's, this is what this, this song always makes me think of. Just one left. You must be me because I do that like a sound. I charge right in, I go straight for your over major. I got many comrades, it's just that you were wasted. And so ends a battle, you were dead and I'm alive. Look for me on Cali, my name is 2095. There you go. So every single time I hear that Warcraft 2 soundtrack, that's what I hear. I can't not hear it. Oh shit. Tyrell, distract him but don't die. You just live for a little bit. Buy some time. That's the Ellen Ryle Rye guy from the uh, Chaos TD. I'm back in 10 seconds and then Warcraft and Soap, so it should be a bit safer after that. I still got to get level 30. Warcraft is level 26. Yeah, it says Tyra. to use this ability. That fucking meteor. It's two times now it's done that shit. Meet her. Oh, 
but I think we've got that much time to play it, but better load up the WoW chitch off in the background. There might be a queue. Should have done that a bit earlier. There's almost definitely a queue since it's the weekend. Probably fucked, to be honest. I'm not ready. Ready, master. Oh, there's not a queue, actually, you're saying. All right. Ready, Master. Warcraft 2. I mean, actually, no, to be fair, I used the Age of Empires map editor before I used Warcraft 2 map editor, but Warcraft 2 map editor, I remember that. That was just interesting to look at all the units. You just have, like, this blank, empty, barren map, and I just shove a ton of gyrocopt flying machines down. Uh, he's got 1745 health. What are you doing? What are you doing? Just kill him. That's all you have to do. Just kill him. See? Oh, what the fuck? Incoming attack soon. Are you fucking kidding me? Okay, this has really gone too far. <laughs> this has literally gone so far now. I was done with this like 45 minutes ago, man. It's too, it's too repetitive. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's a good map, but fuck me, it's way too repetitive to like have this many levels. You just, if you want to have this many levels, you're just going to have to really sharpen up the pace or something. Thirty minutes. Yeah, the map goes on long enough, the rest time might be 30 minutes. Two times speed, huh? That would be pretty damn intense. Oh, you got level 30. So this still keeps doing damage based on my missing life. So uh, just more health, really. that don't get affected by my ultimate. Q of one. Okay, you're safe. I thought the Demon King was pretty acceptable for a last boss. It was basically Sargo, not Sargo, um, Kill Jaden, which is always an acceptable last boss because Kill Jaden is cooler than Archimon. Archimon's cool, but Kill Jaden's definitely cooler because he's like clever and manipulative. Archimon is basically a big grunt who is really good at spell casting. But don't get me wrong, Archimon's really cool in the story as well. Like, his interactions with all the characters and stuff are really good. It's just, there's something about Kill Jaden that just seems kind of cooler. I don't know. You might disagree. Like, they're both really, really cool. But if I had to put one above the other. He's the schemer.
Ah, uh, yeah, Tyra's managed to overcome. Oh, I wasn't expecting this to be the last boss. Oh, you blocked me. Ah, you big ass tank. Construct of eternity. Looks like a bomb to me. They're gonna blow. Surely, maybe. How close can we get? Might need to move the boss away from here because this doesn't seem like a very friendly place to fight. Oh, I died going to heal you with my ability. He walked into the thing. I mean, pretty soon the whole place is going to be filled with these things. unfortunate. Here she comes. Or not. She's done. She's had enough. I was going to go heal you, but last time I did that, I got me killed. So I'm saving it for myself. Sorry, Tyron. Had a conflict of uh, interest there. I'm running. I can push her into the corner. Oh, she's not interested. Some like a kid. End of the line. Oh my god.
Yeah, we both decided to just walk back there. It's gone on so long we got past level 30. This is it, Luigi. <laughs> and it was Sheep God. It was the uh, secret hero. Stunning! With a sub with the Prime. Thank you very much. Oh, well done. Good job. Man, we must have had slower heroes this time. Because unless we died before the last boss. I have a video and it's an hour and a half. So... I don't know, man. Although we did have a few of the arenas in this one. So just to make this go even longer. This is the new 10-man version of it. Yeah, 5-player mode, 10-player mode. One minute and 11 seconds before the two-hour mark. Ugh. Uh, sheep go. Yeah, I think I did this last time, didn't I? Had a look at it. God racial. Attack type true. My, but yeah, we did. I, I'm sure I looked at this. That's the sort of same thing I would have done. Be my friend. My best friend. Following friends. Oh, it's funny. That's an explosive sheep. Kaboom. Alright, there you go. Closure. Thanks for watching.